Hey friends, it's Eric and today we're going to check out my most recent purchase of this keyboard cover that is made specifically for Final Cut Pro. Today I'm going to tell you why I bought this, what it's good for, what it's not good for, and why you should pick up one of these uh, if you're in the market. So I originally bought this because my keyboard, which I do have a iMac 27 inch, I do have the keyboard, the magic keyboard with the numpad and I am a Final Cut Pro user. And as you can see here, my keyboard is getting pretty dirty. Now I can clean this up. I can also buy a new one and that will solve the issue. But um, I know if I clean it up, it's just gonna get dirty right again, really quick. So I've, I've always wanted one of these cause I'm pretty big into Final Cut Pro. And I know a lot of the shortcuts but I don't know them all. If I knew more, I would probably forget them. So something like this I've seen a few times. I was like, why not? It would solve two birds with one stone. So it would keep my keyboard clean and it would help me with some Final Cut Pro shortcuts. And I gotta tell you, this is pretty cool. It fits perfectly. It's really, really cut nicely. It's very thin silicone, and it doesn't feel like cheap silicone either. It feels like this is gonna last a long time. And I love how each key is a different color. The main keys obviously are black, and then your special keys are blue, yellow, and green. And you can really learn a lot. I actually learned a couple extra shortcuts that I didn't know before, and I can't wait to continue using this and learn it. I think this is definitely going to help me out to speed up my Final Cut Pro editing. And I'm very happy with my purchase. Now KB covers make a bunch of keyboard covers for different applications, depending on what keyboard you have. They have for just the Magic Keyboard, Magic Keyboard with Numpad, and then depending on what your editing program, if you use Adobe, they have one specific to Adobe's or After Effects. So there's lots of different choices. And even if you have a MacBook Air or MacBook Pro, there's a model for you also. Now my only minor con, which actually has nothing to do with the product, but if you're a hunt and pecker, if you're typing with one finger and you're looking down constantly and you're looking for a very specific key as you're typing, this might not be for you because the normal keys, the letters, as you're typing, they are smaller, a little bit harder to find. But if you're a good typer, if you type with both hands without looking at the keyboard itself, then you'll be fine. But if you are a hunt and pecker, if you know what I mean by hunt and pecking, uh, you, you understand <laughs> that this might not be for you. But overall, I'm very happy with my purchase. I hope this video was helpful. See you guys on the next video. Thanks for watching.